Good afternoon, I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. The PNP is taking extra precautions ahead of President Duterte's fifth sauna on Monday. Meanwhile, progressive groups are saying the Interior Department's mem memorandum prohibiting mass gatherings will not stop them from staging a protest. News 5's Greg Gregorio is reporting live from Mandaluyong to give us the latest. Greg, what's the latest? Risa, aside from setting up President Duterte's convoy on the day of the sauna, the PNP Highway Patrol Group is also reminded against a different kind of threat amid the COVID-19 pandemic. During the send-off ceremony earlier today, each of the convoy marshals were reminded to bring alcohol with them, properly use surgical masks or KN95 masks, and observe social distancing when doing their job. PNP HPG Deputy Director for Operations Police Colonel Cosme Abrenica says this is to protect themselves from the invisible threat and so as not to carry the virus to their families back home. The HPG will deploy around 500 personnel in Metro Manila alone for Monday sauna, 220 of which will be on the field. Every personnel is also reminded to implement maximum tolerance when rallies occur. Of course, dapat aware sila dun sa uh, problema natin dito sa COVID-19. No? So another problem yun na dapat natin address. Meanwhile, human rights advocates, labor groups, faith-based organizations, and other activists insist that conduct of rallies on Monday cannot be stopped by the Interior Department's memorandum, which only reiterates the IATF's protocol prohibiting mass gatherings. Human rights lawyer Chel Jokno says the intent to prohibit rallies could be deemed as prior restraint. He added that the IATF is not a law-creating body. Thus, this memo cannot supersede the right to freedom of expression granted by the Constitution. Klarong klaro naman yung kanilang um, ang nakasulat sa kanilang memo na sa tingin ko ay talagang hindi yan uh, siyang ayon sa ating Constitution. Uh, handa kaming ipaglaban ito kung kailangan pang pumunta sa korte ay handa rin kami. With this, lawyers and paralegal teams of various groups will also be on standby should anyone from the protesters will be arrested by the police. Bayan Secretary General Renato Reyes says even after the memo has been released, they are still in continuous coordination with the PNP to show the sincerity of the planned protest. There will also be marshals to implement social distancing while everyone is reminded to bring face masks and follow health protocols. Sinigurado pa rin namin, even at the last minute, uh, magkaroon ng maayos na coordination sa Quezon City Police at sa Quezon City LGU. At uh, ito naman po ay ongoing uh, para naman po maiwasan na anumang hindi magandang uh, pangyayari. Their protest will take place at University Avenue inside the University of the Philippines compound on Monday morning. They say it can accommodate around 5,000 individuals, like the Grand Mañanita last June 12. Risa, not less than 10 groups coming from various areas are expected to participate in this joint Sona Day protest under the name of Sona Gaisa. Some will march from the Liwasang Jokno in the Commission on Human Rights compound at 8.30 a.m., while online protests will also happen. Risa? Thank you. That was News 5's Greg Gregorio. Meanwhile, here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. More than 7,000 locally stranded individuals are currently in the Rizal Memorial Sports Complex. Social distancing is not observed as they await to be transported back to their home provinces under the government's Hatid Tulung program. Now, two women were arrested in Caloocan for falsifying COVID-19 test results. The CIDG conducted the raid at the suspect's computer shop after a Facebook post went viral, showing a man asking for test results to be scanned and photoshopped. And the armed forces confirms that there are no more foreign terrorists in the country. Because of this, the military is now focusing on local terrorist groups such as Abu Sayyaf and Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters or the Daula Islamiyah.
Now, for more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. You may also visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.